So the channel recently surpassed 10,000 subscribers. The appreciation I have for the supporters of this channel cannot be expressed through words. I would say something cheesy like, I never would have thought this channel would reach 10,000 subscribers. But that's my whole purpose. I want to expose as many people to the world of, I guess, better living by way of many different luxury goods for yourself and your home. Mainly the home. Many people know me from candle reviews. Today though, I want it to be all about you. So on the community tab of this channel and on my Instagram, I let y'all ask me anything you want and I'll be answering those questions in today's video. Man, it's still hard to believe that the channel has this many subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. This is the beginning of something very special that we are building together. I see we're starting off deep. I don't have anything in a collection at this point that's terrible. The worst candle I have ever experienced was actually from Target. It was one of those basic ever spring candles. I think it was the lavender and bergamot scent. I picked it up when I first got to California. Everything was closed and I needed something quick. I was staying in an Airbnb for a bit and if you know anything about Airbnbs, they may be the cleanest place but there is always this lingering used feeling about them. You know you gotta do your own type of cleaning. You have to wipe down all the surfaces to make sure they're your type of clean. And of course, light some candles to make the space smell like your own. The only reason I didn't have any of my own candles was that I, I packed them all and forgot to put some in my suitcase to put on the flight. I know, terrible mistake, and I was not going to unpack and unwrap all of the candles just to put a couple in my suitcase. But I learned my lesson. I will not be doing that again. I mean, the scent wasn't bad. It was lavender and bergamot. It just didn't have any cold throw or hot throw. Nonetheless, it will not happen again. Well, Detail Dream is just an extension of myself and who I am as a person. My entire life, I've always been a very detailed, meticulous person. It's something that has always been in my nature. When I decide to do something, I want to do it to the best of my capabilities. I would say perfection, but there is always something that needs to be worked on. I'm someone who really pays attention to the details. I noticed when I take my time and I work on the details and I take a step back, I have a better overall picture or a better overall outlook on whatever I'm trying to do. It's just something that has always helped me in my life. So that's the detail part. And Dream is just the nickname that my family calls me. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever heard them call me Rakima. So Detailed Dream is just an extension of myself. The one thing I absolutely love most is the freedom of creation. This is probably one of the only few things that I feel like I'm good at, actually. It's the feeling of seeing something grow from nothing and to bring other people on this journey with me and to just see their genuine support of the channel and myself. It's a feeling like no other. I truly love coming up with different video concepts and just showing different home fragrance and other luxury goods and in a different light. Yes, I can just hold up a candle and talk about it, but what does the candle look like in different settings? What does it look like in different lights? I want you to know exactly what you're getting when you watch these videos. I essentially want to give you every piece of information that I researched, but putting my own creative twist on these videos and just teaching and exposing people to many different things they've never seen before is quite amazing. Okay, this is three questions in one. My future aspirations for the channel. I wanna continue just producing quality content. I make these videos to last for a very long time. I want you to come back and reference these videos in the future. It doesn't quite make sense if you just watch these videos one time. I put so much information in these videos that if you just walk into a store, you could start working there today. I want you to be well noticed on these brands and the good and the bad that comes with them. Simply making lasting good content. That's the goal. And yes, of course, I love to travel. Actually, next year, I plan on visiting Positano. I can't wait to experience the beautiful views and the amazing food. I have plenty book recommendations. For one, The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho is an all-time favorite of mine. I probably read that book once every few months. It's an easy read, but the message in it is very good. Highly recommend it. I'm also into books about finance and business, so if that's your thing, then if you haven't read A Random Walk Down Wall Street, 
I highly recommend checking that one out. Oh, another one of my all-time favorite reads. It's called The Way to Wealth by Benjamin Franklin. I actually think it's a couple essays that he wrote and they just combine it into one book. I found it for free on Google. I'll make sure to link that in the description. These writings have some absolute gems that lives rent-free in my head. I'll read a few examples for you. We are text twice as much by our idleness, three times as much by our pride, and four times as much by our folly. Rust consumes faster than labor wears, while the used key is always bright. He that riseth late must trot all day, and shall scarce overtake his business at night, while laziness travels so slowly that poverty soon overtakes him. Drive thy business, let not that drive thee, and early the bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Bars. Okay, one more. These are good. One today is worth two tomorrows. Meaning, if you put off something that can take one minute today, it can be worth five minutes tomorrow. Just get it over with and do it now. The Way to Wealth. Highly recommend it. Yes, yes, yes. I promise that video was coming. It's just taking me a little longer to source some things. I can easily go to the store and buy some things to make my home look like a magazine cover, but that's not my goal for this place. The magazine spread, it's good and all, but I wanna see my own personality in my space. So sourcing different items that speak to me personally is, is taking some time. Almost done, so that video should be dropping soon. Nope, not single. I'm actually in the real estate industry. That's my day job. Oh, I have plenty interests and obsessions. For one, I'm really looking forward to getting into real estate investing. I wanna start off with, you know, the duplexes or the triplexes, then transition into commercial real estate. I'm not too sure about investing in California because these prices are outrageous. I wanna start dabbling into collecting watches as well. It's a lot that goes into it, so it's gonna take me some time to buy my first luxury watch. Mainly, I'm just figuring out which brand to start with first. For my obsessions, other than candles, that will be Lamborghinis and chocolate chip cookies. I basically moved to LA for opportunity. And plus, over the past two years, it's just been a lot going on in New York. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot going on in California too. It's just that the quality of life has been so much better here. And at the same time, New York just provides something no other place can. It's like a love-hate relationship. You hate certain qualities while you're there, and when you're away, that's when you remember why you love it. There's nothing like New York. Oh, I'll be back to visit, but I'll be back. Nope, not in the fraternity, even though I would love to be one of those guys doing a little shoulder shimmy. <laughs> I'm like in LA, it's all right. One of the only things I don't like is the traffic. There's no need for traffic. If everyone out here knew the correct lane that they had to be in, there wouldn't be any traffic at all. Okay, there are one of two ways that I essentially discover brands. That's either by the vessel or the scent. Of course, if I'm shopping online, the vessel will catch my attention first. But if I'm in person, one of those two things will catch my attention. After that, I look for what this brand is and what they stand for. I look for their reason why. Is this brand just selling candles just to make money? Or do they really have a purpose behind their brand? What is their why? I wanna know the story behind the brand. And what type of wax are they using for their candles? I'm more of a vegetable wax guy. And after putting all of this information together and I buy the candle, it still has to perform well before I even think about bringing this candle to the channel. So there's the vessel, the scent, the wax, the brand identity, and the performance. I was basically tired of ordinary candles. I knew I wanted a candle that provided something much different than the candles I used to use. My favorite was the Eucalyptus Spearmint from Bath & Body Works. I used to burn that candle non-stop, but it came to the point where I essentially outgrew it. I needed something more, I just didn't know what I needed, if that makes any sense. And then, 
I was gifted a set of candles from Diptyque and that changed my entire outlook on candles. Diptyque has some of the best scents that you will ever come across. Because of that, I began going down this rabbit hole of other luxury brands and now we're here. The Trudon Busts are exceptional and they are definitely worth it if you don't want to burn it. I think those busts are more of a decor item than anything else. They're quite large as well, so they'll look amazing on any coffee table or credenza or if you just want to put it on a shelf or display. This is a really good question. Of course, it's going to be a mix between the luxury car scents from Diptyque, Jo Malone, and Aqua di Parma. That video I plan on dropping early November, so stay on the lookout for that. This is really a good idea. Let me know if any more of you will be interested in a luxury candle subscription box curated by yours truly. Okay, good one. You won't be able to use a wick dipper on a wooden wick, of course, and you won't be able to use a wick snuffer because it'll just cause too much smoke. So the best course of action would be, actually, let me go get it. Glass cloches. You have the small size and the large size, which is essentially perfect for any size candle. This one you can also find on Amazon, and it's also linked in my Amazon storefront in the description below. This smaller one was just found at a random store while I was out. A glass cloche is one of the perfect forms of putting out a candle without causing any smoke. Yes, of course, I'll show you. Okay, I have the new voicemail scent in collaboration with Grace Jones. It's actually a pretty decent smelling scent. I haven't burned it yet, so if you want me to make a video on this one, let me know. The most recent parfum I have is the Terre Hermes fragrance. This is an exceptional citrus scent, and as you can tell, I've been using it quite a bit. Oh, this is my category. I got you. You have Sir Trudon, first of all, then you have Hornacetti. Then you have Lalabo, and then Lavco, or Byredo, or Matitlan, or Reesefields NYC. Incredible luxury candle brands if you're looking to splurge. I actually have two candles I've been burning non-stop. Well, not non-stop, just more than usual. Velvet Fire from The Harmonist and Feu de Bois from Lafco. When I burn Velvet Fire, it's usually just in the living room. But Feu de Bois is just an all around good warm scent that fills up a large space. If you wanna know more about these scents, I talked about them in my fall candle video. I definitely recommend Jungle Bloom or Paradiso Fig from Lavco. It may be just hitting that $70 mark, but I think it's worth it. And the hand-blown glass vessels will look amazing in any space. And you can also try Forever Move. They have some pretty good fruity candles that isn't too sticky sweet. Every single morning, you'll catch me burning Japanese incense. That's my go-to every single time. I'll actually show you. Okay, my favorite right now is Autumn Leaves from Shoido and Kayunko from Baido. They don't cause too much smoke and the scent always leaves my space feeling very calm. That calming, stress-free feeling is why I always burn Japanese incense in the morning. It always starts the day off on a good note. Oh, this is easy. Malin and Getz has some incredible candles in general, but I have two favorites, Bergamot and Dark Rum. Bergamot has this bright citrus scent that's perfect for the mornings, and Dark Rum has this perfect dark elegance to it that's perfect for the evenings. That one scent for me, without a question, would have to be my number one favorite candle of all time. Madeline from Sir Chidon. This scent just reminds me of good nostalgic memories. 
back when times were just much more simple. The scent allows me to escape reality for the two hours that I'm burning it. I have yet to find a candle that comes close to making me feel what this candle makes me feel. And this scent was the very first candle I actually put on the channel. That video actually did very well and it kickstarted me to making more content on home fragrance. All from this one scent. Madeline will always be my number one favorite candle scent. And I don't think anybody can change that. Which brings me to the special part of this video. Great questions, by the way. I got to open up and tell you a little bit more about who I am beyond YouTube. We definitely have to do this again sometime. But I want to show my appreciation for your support and give away a candle. But not just any candle. I would like to give away the Ernesto scent from Sir Judon. One of my favorite scents from one of my all-time favorite brands. This scent is one of the staples for Trudon, and I feel most people will enjoy it. I want to share a piece of this fragrance world with one of you. Trudon is definitely a luxury experience, especially if it's your first time buying or receiving one. This isn't a sponsored giveaway, so I will be going to purchase this candle myself. This milestone on the channel is the perfect excuse to buy more candles. I'm not going to make this difficult by any means. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and comment your favorite candle below or one you really like. You can even comment your favorite fragrance you like to wear. Simple. This giveaway will end one week from now, then I'll randomly pick one person. We'll work out all the shipping details then. Reaching 10,000 subscribers was not an easy thing to do, especially for YouTube. I am grateful for each one of you. This journey has definitely been world changing. I can't wait to see what the future holds for Detailed Dream. Thank you for allowing me this freedom of expression.